Santos back at it again. I'm trying to do a back-to-back -back video here. Um, did one this morning and uh, trying to get this one posted today. I uh, had a good day today. We went to the thrift store, my wife and I. Uh, she asked not to be uh, filmed, so I didn't bring my camera in. Um, but I'm going to show you the haul that we came out with. And it was a pretty good one because we kind of teamed up here. You know, I'm usually picking and getting the things that I like, but there's a lot of cool things that she picked out that I think are going to be able to sell here. So um, I'm going to show you some of those items. Um, the first item here is a uh, DVD CD writer. It looks brand new. Check it out. I don't want to mess up the uh, filming there. I did order a plug for it, so it's missing the plug. I ordered that today. Um, hopefully, uh, get that listed soon. Um, I don't know if they go for any money. I've been trying to search them, um, but uh, haven't seen anything. Um, got this Bratz doll case, and it still had a lot of items on that. Oh, by the way, I paid five bucks for that uh, CD DVD writer. Um, picked up this Bratz doll case, and it still had some of the accessories in there. Um, not bad. Still looks in pretty good condition. Uh, there's some more accessories, some shoes. Um, I think I got a couple bucks in this. There it is, uh, 292 for that. Uh, and I know brat stalls are, are collectible, so I um, decided to pick that up. Um, you know, we've been watching a couple videos um, on uh, plush dolls, so. There were some plush dolls in here, some TY dolls, and uh, the whole bag was a dollar, dollar ninety one for the bag. So um, my wife picked that out. We're gonna try that out, see what happens. She found this um, old Disney hat here, and it says Disney Performing Arts. So that was pretty unusual. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Maybe you guys have, but I haven't. So. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, she found this bag here, and she paid two ninety two for it. And it's a check it out. It's a nativity set. Once you put it together, and it is a precious moments nativity set. So um, we haven't looked it up, but uh, we'll see what it goes for. See what it sells for. If not, we could probably keep it for next Christmas, but we'll check it out. Um, she found these uh, Nike pads. It looks like a soccer shin for the soccer plane, so paid $1.91 for that at the old honey hole that I go to. So that was a pretty good pick. Um, I'm telling you, it's a pretty big haul, so bear with me. Um, she picked up this guy. And uh, we've seen him on... Uh, eBay already. He's got a, still the tag. He's pretty clean. Uh, Captain Hook. And I think she paid. Let's see. It's on this ticket. Okay, so she paid three forty three for that. They got some weird pricing there, and I don't know why they do that, but they got weird pricing like three forty three, one ninety one. Um, but we got that. Um, they go for like uh, in between fourteen to twenty bucks. So not a bad pick for her. Again, we're trying to add this um, plush dolls. Uh, here's another bag. I picked this one out because it has a Hello Kitty. But it also has the cap from... God, what is that? Bolt. The cap from Bolt, and I looked him up. There's only one on there. I'm going to pull this guy out. Because there was only one on eBay. And they have him listed for 65 bucks. And not that I'm going to get 65 bucks for it, or not that they might not get 65 bucks for it. But check out his tail. It's pretty neat. His arms are bendable. Um, it's a pretty neat little cat. I, I don't remember his name. Uh, but that's why I got this bag that I paid uh, $2.92 for. So hopefully this little guy brings me some money don't know if you guys want to let me know i got a paypal account um, there's some more ty's in here 
I saw this Hello Kitty doll in here. The T.Y. Poodle. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen that one. And we've seen a lot of T.Y.'s in our lives from picking all these years. But I haven't seen that one. So um, that was the one I picked out. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I wanted to give my try on um, VHS. And I don't. Some of them do well. Some of them don't. Um, but it's um, three for a dollar at the store. So three VHS at the store for a dollar. And I was mainly interested in this one, the Dracula Wolfman Frankenstein set. Um, so I just had to pick two more because actually, even though there's three in here, they're giving me this as part of the three for a dollar. So not a bad deal. And I picked uh, the X-Men and then Mulan, which is still in the clamshell so uh, maybe i'll get a couple bucks for these but this one i'm not sure i might get some money for this one so pick that um i saw these shoes earlier and then my wife came back and said hey did you see those shoes so they're made from deer stags uh, they're a size 11 perfect size they're still in pretty good shape um, I think they go from what used maybe 20 30 bucks we paid 696 on this paid a little bit up I thought for it but um, I think it'll bring in some money what do you guys think yay nay um, this was really cool I got this at the end here and it's it's a very large uh, meat grinder um, I've always uh, picked some small ones and sold them for you know a decent price but not nothing this big um, so we're gonna see how much money that can bring in it's made by Universal it's got a number three on there so we'll see how that does and the last pick which is the best pick I thought there and I paid a little bit up but not really it's a Bose um, CD three CD changer a player um, I saw one on eBay, and if I, if I could, I'll post it, but it has bids right now, and I think it's at $77, um, but I don't think it had all these cords with it, and I don't see a remote, but that's okay, because that one didn't have one either, that was, um, that people were bidding on, so I got to test this thing, either way, I get uh, credit, if it doesn't work, I paid $10.91, that you see the weird numbers they put out on there but not a bad pick I hope hopefully um, this pays for my whole lot we wind up paying $65 for everything but just this item should get us our money back and then the rest if we sell it if we sell it we should get some profit so let me know what you guys think of that haul give me a like again you know the same old blah 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 hit that button uh, hit that little bell and then I'll see you guys next video and you know wanted to do a couple shout outs um, zombie bargain hunter you just subscribed to my channel um, but you said Ivan sent you over and I know who that Ivan is it's just Ivan um, so I want to thank you thank you Ivan um, for sending people over my way um, getting them subscribed on my channel I really appreciate that um, there's there's a couple more I just want to throw out there again Lone Star Picker you know you're a good guy I uh, appreciate you appreciate all the uh, chats we have and everything else um, Kelly reseller uh, another good guy when you guys team up uh, Lone Star it's pretty awesome I like your auctions I got my two uh, boys watching your auctions also my two sons so now they watch your auctions so um, thank you for that um, also, I want to give a shout out to Pick and Packing Pressman. I know he's a little sick right now. I hope you get back into the game and I hope you feel better. God bless you. Lots of prayers to you. Um, one last person is the Flipping Sports Guy. And if you guys haven't been following this guy, follow him because he knows his stuff. And this old dog has been learning some new tricks from that guy. So follow uh, the Flipping Sports Guy. I highly appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. But for now, I'm out.